Morning world. Good afternoon world. Good evening world. Alright, for those who are watching the video this morning, of course it's good morning for you. Um, guys, I just wanted to come back. Like I said, this is Bean Willie coming back with another video. And once again, you know, I got always just show love and, 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 and express my appreciation uh, for the support, for the comments, and for the viewing uh, that I'm receiving for these videos. Uh, like I said, everything I do is just coming from the heart. Nothing scripted. Do my research. And I want to come and give it to you and, uh, and hope it resonates with you. Uh, like I said, guys, first I just want to give you a little background by myself because I know me as a as a YouTube viewer, it's uh, to me, I think it's always interesting and, and a lot more uh, compelling when you know a little background about the uh, the individual that you're watching, that you're listening to. Because then things start kind of making sense. I mean, you can kind of see the consistencies uh, with the things that they're saying as far as the narratives, as far as the perceptions of reality. Me personally, God, I've always been one who had an empathic nature. Uh, honestly, I didn't even know what an empath was uh, until recently. I just know that once I did the research and found out what an empath was, I was like, wow. Okay, that's what I've been all my life and didn't know it. Okay, because like I said, a lot of people think they're empaths. But there's a difference between an empath and someone that's sympathetic. All right? And, and the thing that differentiates the empath is that when you see an empath hurting, you see real tears. Okay, because we feel the pain of others. I mean, as if we're going through the same pain. Whether it's physically, emotionally, mentally. So, that type of makeup, you know, puts you in a very unique and rare class of people. Because not everyone's able to do that. A lot of people can sympathize and be like, oh, okay, I'm sorry for you, this and that and the third. But when you actually can feel the pain of others, that's more empathic. Okay? And I look at my, my career. Uh, I look at the employment opportunities that I chose to take opposed to necessity. They've all been ones I really, really enjoyed because I've always got myself in a situation where I could experience the pain of others and see how I can become a better person through not only experiencing their pain, but also trying to figure out ways to alleviate or end their pain. The right? uh, first job I took was a CPS worker with Ch Children Protective Services. And I did that job, and I, I really loved the fact that I was able to not only help children that were in abusive situations, but also parents that were in abusive situations when it comes to the system. See, so many times we think that the children are the only ones being abused. But the system also abused parents. Because remember, our kids only belong to us for a certain amount of time. And when it comes to school age, a lot of our control of our kids is given to the state. And so as a social worker with CPS, there are times where you know, kids will run away from school and, and not be at school and be trained and their parents will be responsible for that while they're trying to work. And now you got kids being taken from the home because of the system of viewing these parents as neglectful and uh, not supervising their kids. To me, that's abusing the parents. You no, know, because you can't put them all in a box. And as a CPS social worker, I understood that there were extreme room circumstances. So I felt the pain. I was a firefighter and a paramedic. Um, you know, I felt the patient's pain. And I was able to assist a lot of people. And like I say, for the last 17 years, I've been teaching and coaching. So each one of my three employment opportunities, I chose because I knew it would give me an opportunity to help others. And right now what I'm doing is in another opportunity for I can help others by giving you food for thought and hoping that what I say can resonate. So like I say, guys, if you're empathic, this is going to really resonate with you. Uh, like I said, I'm just a country boy. Graduated from Rice University here in H-Town. And uh, had a lot of experiences when it comes to meeting different people and different situations. 
that all got me to this point now where I understand that the reality that we live in is not the true reality. Okay? There's an illusion of choice and an illusion of freedom that we're given. And until you open up your third eye, you're not going to know it. All right? So like I said, guys, I just wanted to come back with a little personal information about myself so you can know who you're really dealing with. Uh, like I said, this is Bean Willie. I really love the fact that you guys are showing me love. And I tell you what, I got a lot of bean seeds to plant. And when they plant and they grow, I definitely have more food for thought. In the meantime, in between time, may the most high inside to bring you joy. And Bean Willie's out of 5,000.